As you may have noticed, I love breaking down the science of our products and why we put the ingredients we do into them. I also love busting the many myths that are surrounding the mystery of cosmetics. And we do get a lot of questions about certain ingredients. So I just want to do a quick breakdown on the top five ingredients we get asked about all the time. So number one, Behentramonia methosulfate. One of my favorite ingredients, and you will see that it is in a lot of our products. Shortened to BTMS, it is a cationic surfactant or conditioning emulsifier. All this means is that it binds oil and water together and it is positively charged. The charge is helpful because your hair is negatively charged. So BTMS sticks to hair and forms an air permeable barrier, which helps your hair stay hydrated by keeping the cuticle flat so that the hair glides against one another, meaning fewer tangles, less breakage and more shine. And it is derived from rapeseed oil. Sodium cocoyl isothionate is another surfactant, but this time an anionic one, which means it's a good cleanser, but lovely and mild. I put this in almost everything too, as it makes really lovely creamy bubbles, but is really well tolerated even by the most sensitive of people. SCI can be derived from a few different ingredients, but as we are certified palm oil free, ours is derived exclusively from coconut. Sodium cocoa sulfate is a surfactant, and yes, it is a sulfate. I have written about a blog about sulfates and how they are not a bad guy. But long story short, formulations containing sulfates are not necessarily harsh, and the formulas that are sulfate free are not necessarily gentle. In fact, it is often the other way around. Formulation is complicated, and you need to take into account all of the ingredients present in one formula. Sodium cocoa sulfate is another anionic surfactant and it produces lots of big bubbles, so it's great to give people what they expect in terms of lava in a shampoo. It is present in some of our shampoo bars and some concentrates. Despite being a sulfate, it is gentle as it's made out of all of the fatty acids present in coconut and has less processing than some other sulfates. Preservatives! Okay, so lots of people are scared of preservatives due to unnecessary scaremongering. But if the last year has taught us anything, it's that microorganisms can wreak havoc and we need to treat them with respect. An unpreserved or badly preserved cosmetic product can harbour microbes which can cause infections, particularly in those of us with reduced immune systems. So we use two, benzyl alcohol and dehydroacetic acid as our preservative combination. We use it in our solid conditioners, our concentrates, and some of our other products. They are safe, naturally occurring compounds, although we use lab-made as they are then standardized and tested for efficacy. This prevents microbe growth, so you can use our bars safely. Both preservatives are strictly regulated, and we use them at levels below the maximum amount allowed. Our products are safety tested in Europe and challenge tested too, which means the preservative is challenged in a lab when scientists inoculate it with microbes and see if the preservative can prevent their growth. A preserved product is much safer than an unpreserved one. And finally, natural fragrance. So this is something you may see in a couple of our bars, and it may surprise some of you, as you might know that I personally don't like synthetic fragrance. I find a lot of synthetics give me a headache, so we skip them. But this does rule out a lot of scents though, like raspberry, coconut, or cucumber, because there is no essential oil for those that smells like what people expect. So for a couple of fragrances, we use certified natural ones. They are compounds made in a lab out of entirely natural components of essential oils. They are made to smell exactly like what people expect, like coconut, which doesn't actually smell anything like a natural coconut. They are certified natural, of course, natural doesn't necessarily mean safe. So they are natural, but they are also safety tested in labs, so I am very comfortable using them. Now, if you have any other specific ingredient queries, please do let us know in the comments below and we will do our best to help you.